All right, super deformed rally car fans. We have a mid 1980s Mitsubishi Starion four wheel drive by Choro Q. So this is an old Choro Q. I got this. Uh, I think I got this locally actually. I can't remember where I buy all my stuff, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I guess in the mid 80s, you know, Mitsubishi went rally racing and they had to actually sell some cars in order to do do that. And uh, this is one of them. I don't recall ever seeing this sort of thing before in real life. These are radiators and built into the rear wing, I think. So, yeah. All right. Let's see what else is going on with this Chero Q. First, how old is it? This says 1980, but I don't think there's like a few. There's a window of time. 1980s when Choroku first began, but I think around 1985 they started saying 1980-1985. So this toy could be anywhere between 1980 and 1984. I'm guessing because it's just blank afterwards after the 80. So I don't really know. But anyways, it's nice that it tells you it's a Starion four-wheel drive rally. And look at these tire treads, they're really cool. And then the tires themselves have Q and Q, and then the, I guess the aspect ratio or something. And that's on both the front and the rear. Although sadly, this one's dented quite a bit. These tires are still rubbery. So that's, that's kind of a hard rubber though, or maybe they're aged, maybe. And the wheels, they're okay. They're that wavy gold plastic. But, uh, I mean, we're talking about a model that's decades old now, or a toy that's decades old. Screw in the front, tab in the back, and the whole body is this opaque green, and then the canopy is a separate smoked piece. You can see the wind-up motor right there. So that you can uh, see a little door detail, but look how tight these panel gaps are. It's quite amazing. It's because it's plastic, it's not die cast. You can get better details in plastic. A couple vents i guess air intakes maybe or exhaust i don't know but molded in uh big fender flares we got the auxiliary lights headlights grill textures the mitsubishi diamond more vents but unfortunately no paint in any of them same up here nice textures but no paint nice texture same on this side the little these stickers that's a really chromey sticker yeah, sticker there. Different colored separate wing with the radiators. And it's weird that they would have such a short sticker. Why wouldn't they have the thing the whole length? And then some weird like gridded out taillights, but that's what the real car had. It had like gridded out taillights, egg crate taillights. So that's it. That's a really simple toy. And uh, this is a little coin holder if you want the thing to do wheelies when it takes off. It's amazing it still works. Alright, let's uh, look at a couple of other ones here. I don't really, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to modify these very first generation uh, Choro Qs. I feel there's a certain charm to them. Maybe it's a little also sacrilegious to take such an old toy that stood the test of time and then start modifying it. Here are two other ones I'm going to show you from the same era. So this is an Audi Quattro 80, and again, stickers, not much paint details, mold, decent enough molded details. Same, oh, these are different tires, they just say Dunlop and no aspect ratio. But the wheels are the same, and this one has some mirrors popping out. And then, uh, I think the first one I got was this thing, it's a Suzuki Mighty Boy. And, uh... This one does have those wheels, same tires, same wheels. And yeah, but the same thing, it just says 1980. Possibly, yeah, I'm guessing those are the same plastics, but uh, they faded differently. When they were brand new, they were probably the exact same hue. But maybe one of them sat in the sun more than the other one. All right, uh, let's get a little more modern here. Even free toys. This is a Wanda Mitsubishi Pajero of some sort. And that came free with a can of coffee in Japan. This next one is by Kieran. It's a Austin Mini. This is more of a road racing one, but again, it came free with a can of coffee. And 
and it's got you know painted details now this one I think still has a sticker yeah but this one is all tampo printed so it's quite amazing they would print this much color on every side of the vehicle for something that came free right but Choro Q has gotten better they have a line of toys called Choro Q Zero here's a Renault R5 Turbo and uh, a lot of details granted on this one I painted a lot of the details there's a review on all these things if you want to look them up but mold wise you know this thing is just light years beyond these first ones from decades before here's a top view for you but the Choro Qs these four still maintain the same similar cartooning where the canopy is really tall you know and the whole thing is sh shortened quite a bit Whereas like the Kieran one is a little bit low, more low profile. And this one, although it's deformed, it's not cartoonishly deformed in my opinion. Not overly so. Alright, well anyways, let's get this thing going here. So again, it's clearly a toy. And you might think it's ridiculous looking. Yeah, I guess it is ridiculous looking. Uh, but... Uh, I need to collect something, guys. <laughs> so, I'm expanding my Choro Qs to the very first generations where they look pretty crude, actually. They're very crude by today's standards. But uh, that's where I am right now. Uh, I've debated collecting the very first Matchbox and Hot Wheels because something about their crudeness is starting to appeal to me. So someday I'll do videos on those, I guess. As long as I can get everything for a decent price. That's the main thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this classic Cherokee video. And don't be surprised to see some more in the future. Thanks.